And Florida residents have been given an ultimatum, flee, flee the state or risk dying. Hurricane Milton is bar barreling towards the US state's west coast as a Category 3 system now. There has been a slight downgrade, but the risk remains the same. More than 5 million residents have been told to leave as the storm's fringe batters communities between Tampa and further south to Fort Myers. The eye of the storm is sweeping the Gulf of Mexico and is expected to make a direct hit on the city of Sarastosa in a few hours. Tornadoes are appearing on the horizon here. It's the precursor to the hurricane and it isn't pretty. We're past the calm before the storm. It's closer than that. Wind and rain are blowing through west central Florida. This was the picture in Tampa. There will be more of this, much more. Winds will be fierce. Once the storm hits, we're going to work with state officials to clear debris, restore power, and do it as fast as possible. The Army Corps of Engineers will pump out water and decrease flooding. We've already directed the Department of Defense to be ready to provide active duty service members to support Florida after the storm, uh, after the storm surge, if Governor DeSantis requests the help, which I expect he might. These are the latest pictures from NASA tracking the hurricane's path. Where it hits is the ominous uncertainty. This is my piece of paradise. Nick Hollings is a British resident of Sarasota. This is obviously down the street. Uh, it's my buddy's truck there. So you can see we've just boarded up the, you know, the house out the front. Life on the edge of an evacuation zone is life on the edge. Just to see all these lovely places that I've been going to for so many years at risk of just being washed away is just, is just heartbreaking, to be honest. Landfall of this hurricane is still several hours away, but already you get a sense of its power with roaring wind and driving rain. From these empty streets, it's clear people have heeded the warnings to evacuate. Right now, downtown Tampa is ghost town Tampa. Hi, Dan. How are you doing? In Tampa Bay, we found one man who's ignoring the warnings. Joseph Malinowski goes by Lieutenant Dan on TikTok. He's going nowhere, hurricane or not. Plan is to sit down, <laughs> you know, and hunker down. I'm going to be fine. You know, I mean, this is not. This is a boat. It's meant to be on water, and the water is going to surge. It's not going to. It's not a tsunami. It's not going to come in and come over the side and capsize my boat. It's a measure of optimism in the shadow of the hurricane, under darkening skies. It's thin on the ground.